Okay, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to make bottle cap images using GIMP. I've already got GIMP downloaded on my computer and it's up and running, so let's get started. First we need to create a new file. So go to File, New. Now our width needs to be at 700 and our height needs to be at 500. Simply click OK. Now we need to bring our images in. Let's go back to File, click, and now we're going to Open. Now a list of images will appear. Simply go through, scroll down, and pick the one you want to use. I'm going to use this little bunny. He's highlighted, so I'm going to go down, click Open. Now he'll be in the background, so you can click on it to bring it to the foreground. Now we're going to use the Eclipse tool, the circle. It's the second tool, first row. Click on it. Come down to your image. Hold the left mouse key and simply drag it around your image that you want in the circle. And once you release the left button, it's got it selected. Now you can come in and hold the left mouse button again and reposition the circle for better sizing. But I think that looks fine. So now we need to scale it. We're going to go to fourth row, first tool, the scale tool. Click on it. Then in our image, click in the center of it, and the scale toolbox up here. Your width needs to be changed to 120 as long as well as your height to 120. Simply hit scale. Now very important, don't forget this step or it will cause you a lot of confusion in the next process. Let's come up here to the move tool. The second tool, third row, click on it. Okay, now we need to cut this, so let's go to edit and cut. Let's go ahead and exit out of this to get it out of the way, but do not save the changes. Okay, there's our new template that we're going to be pasting all of our images to. Let's go up to Edit and simply Paste. Left click Hold and move the image to where you need. Give yourself a little bit of room to the top and the side for when you print it so it doesn't cut them off. And there you go. Now to add another one, simply Edit, Paste, Looks like it's not on there, but it actually pasted it on top of the other one, so left click, mouse hold, and drag it over. Now to add a completely different image onto this, File, Open, and select a different image, Open. Remember it's in the background, so click it to bring it up. Circle Eclipse Tool, second tool, first row, make sure you click on it. Hold the left mouse button down and drag across your image. And you can always reposition. Simply hold the left mouse key down while you do it. Remember to scale. First tool, fourth row, click. Click on the center of the image and your scale toolbox appears. 120 by 120 width and height, scale. Make sure you change back to the Move toolbar, second tool, third row, Edit, Cut, close out of this image without saving changes, Edit, Paste. Remember it's, it pasted it on top of your last image, so left click and simply move it over. We're going to do another one, so Edit, Paste again, and then left click over. Now you can actually fit 15 images on this sheet, but I'm going to move to the next step to save some time. So let's save it. So File, Save As. Now I'm going to simply save mine as Bunny. But make sure you come down here to Select File Type by Extension. You need to save it in JPEG format. So simply scroll through until you see it highlight it and save. Okay, you also need to export it. I found of course 100 is the best quality and save. And now you are set. You are ready to print these from home or upload them to a pharmacy center or wherever you use your printing. But um, do not print from GIMP because the sizes do does not work with the printer. It doesn't work very well at all. So print from my pictures. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post, and I hope this helps.